For this next step, you will want to have already removed the top case. Begin by flipping the keyboard over, and there you will notice black tape running along here and here. You will also notice two cables that are attached to a ribbon cable. Begin by removing these. Now you will want to take your Phillips head screwdriver and gently pry the ribbon cable up and move it aside. You will also notice the backlit keyboard cable. Remove this by flipping up the bar and remove the cable. And you will want to flip that bar back down. ribbon cable back. And begin by removing the tape. After the tape is removed, you will notice Phillips head screws all along the keyboard. These are located here, 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 here. And there are three screws that are covered by tape here, and the third one here. Simply remove the Phillips head screws from the keyboard. Once the last screw is removed, you will notice there are clips running atop the top of the keyboard. Simply bend these back into place. You will want to be sure to reverse this step when installing your new keyboard, as the clips provide stability for the keyboard. You will also notice the keyboard cable under a clear, thin plastic cover. You want to remove this with your Phillips head screwdriver. Gently pry up.
and unlock the keyboard cable. and lock the keyboard bar back in place. Once that done, you can get your screwdriver and push in the holes and the keyboard should release. Flip up and that's the keyboard removal.